My phone just fell off the chair. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've said this six times because Let's just get this out of the way. As we can feel, can you feel through the screen my pent up anger? Because I have filmed this video three times. And to you sitting there, that might be like, whatever, who cares? It's just been a little frustrating, okay? Like if you've been watching my Insta stories, you would have heard this whole debacle of me trying to s And now there's dogs barking. I really can't catch a break. This video, I don't want to say the word cursed, but Things keep going wrong. Like every time I sit down to film this video, the audio doesn't work or it didn't actually record. Dogs bark or someone decides to jackhammer. The world doesn't want me to talk about my wedding, but you know what? I said on my Instagram story, everything happens for a reason. And I'm sure there was a deep reason why my two previous filming episodes didn't work. And you know what? I've come full circle. I'm actually glad it happened because I spent the whole weekend planning our wedding and getting things locked in, establishing a theme flowers, wedding dress, everything. So when I first filmed this video, I had no idea. I was like really airy fairy and like up in the air. And now I have all the answers. Like the questions you gave me, I can answer them. I know what we're doing. I know the vibe. And I'm so excited to sit down as best friends and share my whole wedding planning experience with you. However, before we get into the juicy wedding goss, I wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video, Esme Skin Minerals. If you guys watch my Insta stories, you would have seen the products I currently use of theirs. This is my fourth bottle of the hyaluronic acid. This is my favorite product of theirs. I use this on my fresh skin. So usually I will cleanse and then this sounds weird, but I splash a little bit of water on my skin and then I apply the hyaluronic acid and this makes my skin so hydrated, so dewy. This is the mini bottle of the hyaluronic acid. They do make a bigger one and usually I have that, but I just got their advent calendar and this came in it. So I'm just going to use this up and then I'll repurchase the bigger one. I also have here another one of my favorite oils of theirs. This is the Acai Skin Balancing Face Oil. My skin type is, it used to be very like combination and I thought my skin type was oily when I was suffering with acne, but I've actually found out that my skin type is rather dry and I was accidentally stripping it of its natural oils. So therefore my skin was trying to create more oil, thus producing acne. So side note, I highly recommend trying to work out what skin type you have, whether it's dry, combination oily, cause it really helps in tailoring your skin routine for your skin. So I really love this one as well. This is a new product I've been loving and I was hesitant to show it in the video because you can get it online. I have a discount code Sarah20 and it doesn't include SPFs. So I was like, I didn't want to show you this and say you can't use the discount code on this, but I really love so I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to give it a go because I already had the other serums and I trust the brand. Look, I'm pretty sure I copied this trick or hack or like technique of Kourtney Kardashian. And I use it obviously on my face, but I also do a little pump on the back of my hands. And this is one of the only SPF creams that doesn't break me out. I have a very, very sensitive skin. It doesn't break me out, doesn't make me feel oily and congested. So I'm wearing this today actually underneath my makeup. And I put it on the backs of my hands so that when I'm like walking the pram, I don't get like wrinkly age spots on my hands. But if you guys wanna check out Esme Skin Minerals products, I have included a link in the description box below. And I do have a code code Sarah20. I'll put the little disclaimer down here. I know it doesn't include SPFs. If you have sensitive skin like me, I highly recommend it because I've been using it for like three weeks and it hasn't broken me out so far. So thank you Esme Skin Minerals for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the wedding questions. Okay, I can't wait to talk to you guys about the dress and the flowers and the bridesmaids. That's like my favorite thing to listen to. But let's just kick it off with, is Fox gonna be in your wedding party? Like, yes, he's gonna be the ring bearer. I don't know how that's gonna go. Like, if you guys know Fox, he is, let's just say, high energy. So I think we're gonna do that thing where they like tie the rings onto the pillow and they're not just like laying on the pillow because they would 100% go flying. And I'll explain the location in a second, but we're getting married outside. So if the rings go flying, they could literally fall in the ocean. Not really, because the ocean's like 100 meters away. It could be possible. Where will the wedding be held? Our favorite place on the planet. The place that we are the most relaxed. It is the one place I don't think about work. I don't think about editing. I don't stress. I'm just like so present. That is the best word to use. I'm so present here, and that is Elements of Byron. So Elements of Byron is a resort in Byron Bay. We are getting married there and also having the reception there. We're getting married out on like, I'll insert a photo here or like a video here from when we were vlogging up there. 
but you can like ride your bike and like chill out on this grass area that overlooks the water. And then the plan is that we're gonna go get photos and all of our guests are just gonna like chill out around there. Hopefully we can get like some lawn bowls or like some games on that grass area. And they chill there, they have like cocktails and canapes, we go get photos. And then the best part is like we just walk. All the guests like don't have to get in cars, we don't have to organize transportation. They just walk over to this like, it's like a conference hall, but it's called the Banksia Pavilion. We're just gonna deck that out and make it look really beautiful beautiful and then they're gonna yeah like go in there for the reception for me when I look back on a wedding that I loved it's not just about the aesthetics and the flowers and the look it's about the feel like was I comfortable was I warm could I dance hopefully we can dance COVID again we'll talk about that in a second I love the weddings that I am comfortable I'm in a fun table I love the people it's just like a cool warm welcoming environment anyway I could talk about that for ages but that is the plan of the wedding ceremony reception kind of thing. How many bridesmaids will you have and what kind of dress will they wear? Okay, we need to have a sneaky chat because my bridesmaid is currently downstairs and she doesn't know she's a bridesmaid. By the way, my mic is up here. When you think you're gonna get engaged, you start thinking, if I was to get married, who would my bridesmaids be? And I've always kind of known, you know what I mean? Like you always have like that core group that you're like, you would be my bridesmaid. You'd be my bridesmaid. This is why I love that I'm filming this a third time because the first time I filmed this video, I didn't know how I was gonna ask them, what I was gonna buy them. I really hope she's not listening because I wanted it to be like a surprise. Even though in their soul, they know they're gonna be one of my bridesmaids, it's always nice to be like officially asked. So I'm gonna clear the air with the girls as soon as their presents arrive. I ordered them like a really thin gold chain with their letter like their initial so in terms of numbers I have five bridesmaids two sisters and three friends so Tanika is one of the friends and she's downstairs at the moment working on the cooking project stay tuned coming soon in terms of dresses again I don't fully know but I have a better idea now that I've got my dress I think want everyone's dress to be a little bit different because I want everyone in my bridal party to feel really confident and happy and like love their outfit. So I want it to reflect them. I don't really care. Like if you wanna wear sleeves, wear sleeves. If you wanna wear strapless, wear strapless. I feel like the reason you're here is to talk about the dress, right? Like that's for me, that's all I care about. Now I do have a disclaimer. I have something to say. I'm here for you, okay? Like this is a bestie chat. I don't want this to be like too mysterious and too like, ooh, watch this space, but I'm gonna treat you like I treat my friends okay like not my you're not my bridesmaid sorry but like you're invited you're a guest you are a guest at the wedding I will treat you like a guest at the wedding but at the end of the day the best part about seeing someone's wedding video or wedding photos is the grand reveal so I actually had no idea what I wanted so I tried to go on like Instagram and Pinterest and get a mood board and my mood board let me tell you was inconsistent to say the least I had such an array and I had no idea what I wanted to try on which I'm glad about because I went into the stores with a very open mind so I only went to three stores so I'm up to my third store and I'm kind of at the point where it's like I've liked some dresses like I didn't love any of them up until this point I was like yeah like they're nice I could definitely go back and get that one I'll be happy but I didn't have that like <gasps> this is my dress moment that people talk about or you see on say yes to the dress so I ended up going to the dress boutique place that my older sister got her dress but it's an hour and a half away so I had to like make a day of it I had to get Fox babysat I brought my sisters and Tanika and we were there on a mission and I tried on a bunch of different dresses I ended up trying on this one dress that I loved I was like this is classic me this fits the vibe this fits me I love it take photos of everything and take videos and I was comparing it with a dress from another store and I was like yes I'm pretty sure I like this dress better, the one from the store an hour away, but I really want to go back and try it on one last time and just make sure. So a week later, I booked in another appointment and me and Tanika headed back to that store. I put on the dress and I was like, yes, this is my dress. I love it. Like I didn't have that like, <gasps> moment I was just like yeah this is beautiful I won't regret it it's like super me it's super sezzy I guess anyway so I'm literally about to pay the deposit on this dress and Amy the girl who owns the boutique she was like okay cool we just need to like size you up and measure you can you try on this dress from the same designer just for the fit she's like don't even worry about the dress I know it's not your style it's not what you want it's just like when you try on dresses they're like they're obviously not your size or not usually your size so I'm like a size eight and the dress 
dresses I was trying on were a size 12 and she just like clamps them at the back. She's like, try this one on in an eight because it's the same designer. It'll be the same kind of fit and then we can order you the eight. And I was like, yep, cool. So I put on this totally random dress and I came out and I was like, oh no. And Tanika was like, oh yes. And we kind of just like looked at each other and we were like, I think this is the dress. Like it was so weird because the first trip to this store, Tanika had picked out that dress and said, you need to try that on. I was like, no, it's not my style. I don't want to do that for my wedding. Like it's totally the wrong avenue. I don't want to try it on. And she was like, okay, whatever. Like you do you. So when I came out in that dress the second time, she was like, I told you, I told you, this is your dress. And we were just like so confused. Well, I was confused. So I said to Amy, the girl at the boutique, I was like, I'm so sorry. I came here to put a deposit on dress A. Let's just call it A and B. B is the wild card of the right size and just like swooped in at the last minute. But A is the OG. A kind of had my heart and I had shown my mom and showed my sisters and they were like, yes, this is so you. So I was like, Amy, I can't pick right now because I'm like really torn. You have another customer. You have another bride coming in. I feel flustered. I need to leave. I spend the next week literally every day looking at the photos. I make a collage of the photos put next to each other. I'm telling you, if there are two polar opposite dresses on the spectrum of weddings, it is dress A and dress B. But I showed like six good friends and I was like, be honest, if you were me, which one would you pick? And they basically all of them didn't give me an answer. It was very, very split, I, I must say. Anyway, no one gave me any closure or any better direction as to what dress I should pick. So it comes to the day that I'm like, I need to order a dress now, otherwise I won't have it in time for the wedding. Like we're getting married in May. So Amy from the dress shop was like, look, I don't wanna hustle you or like pressure you, but you should probably think about ordering a dress soon because by the time you get it and need to get it altered and like tailored, you're gonna be pushing it for May. So I'm like stressing out. I tell myself internally, I have to pick a dress today. I don't wanna go back there. I don't have time to go back there and like spend basically an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back, an hour there. I don't have time to spend the whole day there picking this dress. I need to pick off the photos. So I message her. I'm like, look, I'm gonna go with the original dress, dress A. It's It was meant to be, I still love it, done. Amy's like, great, cool, pay the deposit, all sweet. So I pay the deposit and I feel kind of empty inside. This is very dramatic, I know, but like, I actually do. I feel like a little bit flat. And she sent me all these like emojis of like champagne and like flowers and woo. And I was like, mm, no, I'm not feeling like that. So I just kind of like sat on this feeling of like flatness for 24 hours. I went to the gym and I don't know why, I think it's like when my adrenaline is pumping, I like think the best. I'm like mid burpee and I stop and I'm like, I need to buy the other dress. For the whole rest of the class, the gym class, I couldn't think about anything else but like running to my phone and messaging Amy. I run to my phone, I open the messages to Amy. I say, I know I'm the most annoying customer you've ever had, but I need to change my mind. I need dress B. She literally laughs and says, that's so funny. I was literally about to order it. Totally fine, we'll order you dress B. Are you 100%? I was like, yes, I'm 100%. Again, she sends me the emojis, champagne, flowers, fireworks, and I feel champagne, flowers, fireworks in my soul. And at that point, I just knew it was the right decision. It's so funny. It's like, I'm so glad that I ordered dress A first because I felt such regret. Like I needed to feel that regret to know that dress B was my dress. <sighs> that was a really intense story, everyone. Take a break, take a sip. <sighs> that was intense. What is the vibe of the wedding? Big or small? P.S. Love your channel. Thank you, Maddie. Love you. Okay, the vibe. Again, on Insta stories on the weekend, I was expressing my confusion in terms of flowers. If you look up a classic Byron Bay wedding, most of the time it's like that whole dried palm, neutral, sandy vibe. Beautiful. Love that. Also think it's been done. And in saying this, I do not want to offend anyone in this video. If you've done the whole dried palm thing, if you've done bright purple, we all no, I hate bright purple. If you've done that and you love it, then that is amazing. I feel like your wedding is about you and your partner and what you guys love and your style and your vibe. I'm not here to bash or trash any style. So this is obviously all my own opinions. Again, lucky being video number three, I know our vibe now. When I say I, I should also preface that Kurt is involved or welcome to be involved in all of this. I tried to get him excited and incorporate him in the planning of like the flowers 
in the color scheme and I don't want to use the term he doesn't care but like he's so chill I've tried to say do you like this color and he's like yeah do you like this color yeah, I've even shown him really ugly things and he's like, yeah, he doesn't mind. So he's like, Sarah, you go and do it. I don't mind. So I'm not going total neutral, but I'm not just going pink. I want to do something in the middle. I want to do something for us that is memorable and that is a little bit more unique. I am getting a wedding planner, but in classic Sezi style, classic Sarah, I'm a bit of a control freak. We've established this over the past nearly eight years. We know this now. We're friends. We're on that level. So I've kind of said to our wedding planner, I want to be involved in like everything, like picking the cake and the flowers and the color scheme. And like, I want to be in all the meetings, but in terms of like making it come together, ensuring everything on the day specifically runs smoothly. That's for you. I don't want to do that. Okie dokie. Let's just be real for a second. Let's get deep. There's a lot of questions about budget. Let's just establish this is a safe space. This is a kind space. We don't open the doors to the mean people, to the trolls, to the haters with a Z. You are my friends, okay? And like, I like doing these sit down chats because it feels personal. I feel like I'm talking to you as my best friend. This is dumb, but I had no idea how expensive wedding things are. There's a thing, it's not really a thing, but like there's this joke that there's wedding tax. It's like, if you want to buy a bunch of flowers for your friend, 30 bucks, right? Like 30 bucks for a bunch of flowers, happy birthday. But as soon as you want to buy a bunch of flowers for your wedding, 100 bucks, wedding tax. It's just like, if you've planned a wedding, you know the budget is very dependent on our guest list. The nature of the world right now with COVID, I actually don't fully know the rules because I don't want to fixate on it. We're being realistic and we're making three different guest lists. We're making a guest list of 150 people, one of 120 people and one of 70 people. So we're lucky that the spaces we're getting married in are really big. So per square meter, we should be able to get like 70 people, even if there's like another wave or something because the rules here in New South Wales are kind of changing, not all the time, but they are updating. So at the moment, as this video is being filmed, you can't have more than 20 people dancing at your wedding. I've heard through the grapevine rumors that maybe that might be lifted, hopefully by May. So I'm planning in my mind for a wedding of 120 people, but who knows if that will actually happen. We just need to be realistic. So weddings in Byron, they're beautiful, but I'm not gonna lie, they are not cheap. Even if you don't do it crazy bougie, they are not cheap. Weddings in general are just not cheap. When we were kind of like interviewing different wedding planners and like having meetings with them, we were told that a base Byron Bay wedding is like 55K and that's not even flowers included. Kurt and I don't want to go above and beyond and be crazy. Like the whole reason we're going to Byron is because it's our favorite place on the planet. And we're also going to house my family, Kurt's family and our wedding party in cabins. I totally forgot to say that. This is the whole reason. So a few days before the ceremony, we're all going to get there and like hang out by the pool and get breakfast and like ride bikes. I'm going to not do the bare minimum, but I'm going to have like flowers, a cake, entertainment. I think we want to get a live performer, like acoustic guitar or something. I don't think I'm going to do anything out of the ordinary. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not bringing in fire dancers or anything. That would be sick. Fox would love fire dancers. Yeah, in terms of budget, I don't have a locked in budget at the moment because I don't know how much things are. Like I've only just established my vibe of the flowers and I've sent it off to a florist to give me back a quote. I don't know if it's gonna be like $5,000, $10,000. Like I, I have no idea. So for me as a guest, I love a three course dinner. So that's kind of where the price is kicked up because we're paying for everyone to have a three course dinner and then drinks on top of that. I think we're just doing like the base drinks menu thing because Kurt and I don't really drink. We're not like big drinkers. Anyway, moving on. Okay, this isn't fully to do with the wedding, but like one of the most popular questions is baby number two, what's going on? Kurt and I, we, we do, we already feel like a family. We're engaged, we have a house together, we have a dog together and we have a beautiful son together, Fox, who is almost two. I mean, like we feel married, but we both really want to be legally married by the time we have our second baby. I am clucky, insert definition here. Whenever I say clucky, there's a lot of international people that have no idea what I'm talking about, so there you go. The past like 
two months, I have been like baby fever. Even like, this is TMI, boob talk. If you've ever breastfed, you'll know what I'm talking about. When your milk is about to come in or like when your baby cries or it's like time to feed, your boobs get like hot and like kind of stingy. I've randomly felt my boobs get that and I like check to see if I'm like leaking milk, which I'm not because I'm not lactating at the moment. I'm not breastfeeding. But like I have felt my boobs do this weird like hot tingle milk thing. It's kind of made me like really miss breastfeeding and really miss a newborn and like we can't wait. So the plan, if everything went to our plan, which it's live, I'm sure it's not going to, I think we're gonna try basically as soon as we get married. Now, my reservation in telling you this is the potential comments of 2021. If you are watching this video and you watch me again next year, just be mindful, be kind, be compassionate. Try not to always ask me, am I pregnant? Am I trying to be pregnant? Am I hiding a pregnancy? Because if someone is trying for a baby and they're not successful and it's taking longer than they hoped, it is really tough when people say to you, are you pregnant? Surely you're pregnant. She's hiding a pregnancy. So you guys know I want to be open and honest and transparent with you. And I want to bring you in my life and tell you everything that's going on. So yeah, I do want to get pregnant in May. That would be my dream. Like have a little honeymoon baby. We'll get pregnant on my honeymoon, whatever. But um, just be patient and be kind next year because our next pregnancy might not happen as quickly as Foxy. So yeah, I hope we can get pregnant next year, but that's just all in God's timing. And I really think everything happens for a reason everything is in perfect timing so whenever we get pregnant next is when it's meant to be okay I think I'm gonna wrap this up with one more question let's pick a good juicy one oh this is a good one that I didn't answer in the last one are you doing wedge shred okay a lot of negative connotations and a lot of negative comments come with the term wed shred I have to be honest though I don't know many brides who haven't like tried to eat a little bit more healthy or like maybe gone for a walk or like increase their fitness a little bit before their wedding I'm not sitting here saying you should do that I think whatever makes you feel the most confident the most comfortable and the most beautiful going into your wedding day do that do you do whatever makes you happy for me personally at the moment I feel really confident in my own body and in my routine like if I was to train harder than I am now or eat clean cleaner, I think it would maybe send me down like a bad spiral of like no balance. <sighs> Guys, I'm literally hot and sweaty from that q and I can't wait. I'm so excited. I also wanted to say another huge thank you to Esme Skin Minerals for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you want to check out any of their stuff, I have linked it in the description box below. And it is code SARAH20 for 20% off site-wide, excluding these little things. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. If you want me to do more sit-down chats, then please leave a comment below about what you want me to talk about. Or if you even like these kind of videos. And I'll be sure to do more in the future. I will talk to you in my next video which is probably a vlog which I know are your favorites. Bye!